is a guy who is a steadfast, put up a wall, send him out guy. And yet his personal life and existence has completely gone in the other direction. So to this resolution that we are debating, can Donald Trump make America great again? It is difficult to imagine a guy making America great again when everything in his personal life reeks of hypocrisy based upon what he's saying today. I completely understand. So let's, yep, that's right, that's right, okay. But we're uh, absolutely conscious of our time here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wind this up by having Speaker Gandrick explain why the personal isn't a reflection of the professional. I'll give you a very quick last word, Rob, and then we'll go into closing statements. I think the chutzpah of a Clinton supporter worrying about conflict of interest <laughs> is, it is, so, it is so infuriatingly breathtaking. I'll just give you one example. Under Hillary Clinton, the U.S. State Department lobbied the Haitian government against raising the minimum wage from $3 a day to $5 a day on behalf of people who happened to have given to the Clinton Foundation. Now, this is a level of disgusting mixing of government and personal wealth and corporate, and this whole thing for anybody who's for Hillary Clinton to raise the concept of conflict of interest shows a capacity for schizophrenia that is stunning.